Our objective is to analyse the IPv4 packet and figure one by determining the value in the upper layer protocol field, the number of bytes in the IP header and payload, whether the datagram has been fragmented, and the values in the identification and TTL fields. Step 1. Identify the upper layer protocol field. The upper layer protocol field in an IPv4 packet is located in the protocol field. This field specifies the protocol used in the data portion of the IP datagram. Common values include 6 for TCP, 17 for UDP, and 1 for IPP. Without the actual figure fic, one provided in the question, we cannot specify the exact value, but this is where you would find it. Step 2. Determine the number of bytes in the IP header. The IP header length is specified in the IHL Internet header length field of the IPv4 header. This field is 4 bits long and specifies the header length in 32 minus bit words. To find the number of bytes, multiply the value in the IHL field by 4. For example, if the IHL field has a value of 5 which is common, the IP header length is 5 asterisk 4 equal to 20 bytes. Step 3. Calculate the payload size. The total length of the IP datagram header plus data is specified in the total length field of the IPv4 header. To find the payload size, subtract the size of the IP header determined in step 2 from the total length. For example, if the total length field indicates 500 bytes and the IP header is 20 bytes, the payload size is 500 minus 20 equal to 480 bytes. Step 4. Determine if the datagram has been fragmented to check if the datagram has been fragmented. Look at the flags field and the fragment offset field in the IPv4 header. If the more fragments flag is set meaning not the last fragment or if the fragment offset field is null minus zero indicating this is not the first fragment, the datagram has been fragmented. If both the more fragments flag is not set and the fragment offset is zero, the datagram has not been fragmented. Step 5. Identify the values in the identification and TTL fields. The identification field is used to help piece together datagram fragments. Each fragment of a datagram carries the same identification number. Without the actual packet data, we cannot specify the exact value, but this is where you would find it in the IPv4 header. The TTL time to live field is used to limit the lifespan of a datagram in the network to prevent it from circulating indefinitely. This field is decremented by one by each router that forwards the packet. When the TTL reaches zero, the packet is discarded. Again, without the actual packet data, we cannot specify the exact value, but this is the field to look at for that information. By following these steps, you can analyse the specified fields within an IPv4 packet header and understand key aspects of its structure and routing information.